<laughs> Today I wanted to talk about, uh, well I guess I'll, I'll start out with a story. Uh, I was watching television, excuse me, watching television the other day. And <laughs> as there was, uh, they were talking about the, uh, the economy. They are talking about, you know, people still needing jobs and, and, and uh, there's a camera crew out in front of a government building. I don't remember what city or state it was in, but it was a camera crew. Uh, out in front of a government building, and there was a man, uh, and he had a sign. He says, I need a job. And uh, just, you know, a random guy standing out in front of a government building, I guess he was protesting, saying he needed a job. And I was watching it, and I was thinking, uh, I don't remember what I was thinking before I looked up to watch the, uh, the, the, the news broadcast. But once I did look at the news broadcast, I could see that he was standing there with the sign that says he needs he needed a job. There was a gentleman cutting or mowing the lawn behind him, probably a government worker working for his state or or city or whomever he was building he was in front of. Uh, there was a reporter, there was a cameraman, and it dawned on me, everybody around this man had a job. Everybody around him was working in some sort of capacity, uh, except for him. He was just sitting there basically complaining about what he needed. Not going out and getting it for himself or improving his skill set or any other or any of the many things that he could have done to improve his situation, which in that case I guess his situation was that he needed a job. Uh, and, and I just kind of, I just laughed uh, because it, it kind of goes to something that, that I heard uh, in a movie and I believe it um, and I've heard people say it, you know, you're always doing what it is you want to do. Even when you think that somebody's making you do something against your will, you know, the one thing that we always have uh, in our life is free will at all times. I mean, it, it may seem as if you you have to do things um, that somebody else wants you to do or because some situation you have to do something. But the guy, the honest truth is, or, uh, but the truth is, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Now, there's a caveat with that. You have to accept the consequences of you doing or not doing something. But you never had to do what, what it is. For example, he doesn't have to go out and find a job. He has the option to stand out in front of the lawn of somebody's building and say he needs a job. I don't think he'll ever get one because I don't imagine somebody's going to stop their job and their making of money to go help him find a job. Uh, so, I, I, you know, you, you always are able to do what it is you, know, you, you, you want to do. Uh, and I, I want to, I guess, give and use myself as, an, as a good example. Um, I, early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, I guess I was uh, I had a freelance computer repair web development uh, company, I guess you could call it. This is right after I, like, I had gotten out of the military. Um, I decided that, you know, computers was for me, and I didn't have any experience, so no one would really hire me. So I just started my own business. I just decided, okay, I, I'm going to kind of force my way into this. And I started my own business. And things were going really well for uh, the first few years, you know, 98, 99, 2000. And then right around uh, 2001, I guess, when the economy really started to slow down, um, a lot of my clients couldn't pay. Uh, business kind of dried up a bit. And uh, has a couple of other things that happened just in my, my life, you know, um, that didn't allow me to get out and, and uh, it made it more difficult. I won't say it didn't allow me because I still had options. It didn't allow me to make as much money as I could have or as I should have. Subsequently, I began to st struggle. Uh, and at no point in my life did I ever think that I should go sit in front, front of someone's yard, lawn, government building, uh, or knock on anyone's door and say, hey, I need a job. <laughs> it just, to, to me, it just didn't make sense that, that and, and then I didn't think about it. But right now, it just doesn't make sense that even if that thought had crossed my mind back then, that that was really going to work. That it, I was really going to be able to go knock on someone's door and say, hey, I need a job. Or even stand in their lawn with a sign around everybody else who has jobs and say, I need a job. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so so when, when my situation arose and I needed a job, you know, I needed a job. Because as another friend of mine says, a check is a check. I don't care if you make a, get a check from McDonald's. That check from McDonald's will cash the same way that a check does from a law firm. 
It might not be as big, but money is money. And when you go to the grocery store, they don't ask you if you got this check because you work at McDonald's or because you got this check because you worked at a law firm. It doesn't matter. It'll buy you the same orange juice, the same eggs, get your kids the same uh, lunch meat and, and, and bread for, for their sandwiches. And so I, uh, I went to Walmart. I went in and I worked at Walmart. Uh, I got a job at Walmart within a week of applying and uh, I proceeded to put food on my family's table. You know, I went from owning my own business or being a freelance uh, developer to working at Walmart. I didn't see a problem with it. I didn't have a problem with it because what it allowed me to do, it actually gave me a peace of mind because I understood that every two weeks I was going to be able to put food on my family's table that I did not have to depend on a client or uh, somebody who was doing um, I was doing work for to pay me. I didn't have to. I knew that Walmart was going to give me a check every two weeks, and, and it eased my mind. Put some food on my family's table. Kept the lights on. It kept it kept the cable on, uh, and I was fine with it. I, I was I was I was fine with it. I worked there for roughly uh, I guess about a year, you know. Um, but my point being is that there's so many people out of work. And, and people complaining and saying that they want work. But how badly do they really want work? See, at that point in my life, I needed work. Walmart was my option. They hire. They hire all the time. Uh, anybody can work at Walmart with no experience. And you can bring a check home. It might not be the check you're used to, but you bring a check home. And it will provide for you because hundreds of thousands of people across this country work at Walmart, places like Walmart, and they make money to put food on their family's table. They don't go out and they don't sit in front of a, a, a building and, and tell somebody that they need a job. They simply go get it. They're go-getters. And they might not be getting exactly what it is you think they deserve, but they are getting a lot more than that gentleman was sitting in that, in that uh, yard with a sign. He was only getting attention. And we all know that attention can't put gas in your car. Attention can't put groceries on your table, shoes on your kids' feet. So what I want to say is, you have to take ownership of your situation at all times. No matter what anyone does to you, you help put yourself in a situation for that to happen. No matter what happens with your job, if you get laid off, you put yourself in a position to, to, for that to happen. It was a point where you probably saw people being laid off, or you knew business was slowing down. But you chose to keep going and doing the same thing you were going to do, or the same thing you were doing. And when the train hit you, you wonder what happened. You saw the train coming. You saw business slowing down. You watch the news. You read the papers. You hear other people telling you that, that, that you know, they've been laid off and you don't make any changes. You have free will to do that. Nobody forced you. So when they bring you the pink slip, when they give you the, the layoff slip, you can't sit back and say, oh, you angry at anybody. You should be angry at yourself. Because it was you. You waited for it.